Hello everybody, we're going to be working on Seed Stitch. Seed Stitch is a knit one, purl one fabric, and it's where you knit one, purl one across, then on alternating rows, you um, put the knit on the purls and the purls on the knits. So we're going to show you how to do that. Um, what you see here in front of you is a baby blanket. I knit it um, to give you a pattern to go along with uh, the Seed Stitch. So the borders our seed stitch, which is what I'm showing you today, and the rest is stockinette, which is just knit a row, purl a row. And the um, pattern will actually be linked in the description box below. I just like to be able to provide a pattern for you guys when I do stitches, so that way you have a project to do if you like. And the baby hat pattern you see is actually in one of the other tutorials, just so you know and we are going to go ahead and get started. So I just cast it on uh, 12 stitches here. This is just really to to show you how I do it. And hopefully I won't be too rusty. I knit this whole blanket right-handed, but um, <laughs> I just did the left-handed uh, tutorial. So I'm going to start with a knit stitch. Bring the yarn forward to a purl. I bring the yarn back to a knit, bring a yarn forward to a purl, bring yarn back, do a knit, bring yarn forward, then we're going to do a purl, bring the yarn back, do a knit, forward, purl, backwards, knit, forward, purl, backward knit, forward purl, and then we're ending with a knit. So there is the first row, it's just knit one, purl one all the way across. And I want to show you here what to look at. Um, this little lump right here underneath the needle means that we just knit, not sorry, we, uh, this is a purl. On the other side when we finished, we finished with it being a knit. Um, when you see the lump like this, you're looking at a purl, which is just the back side of a knit. Here is the second stitch. You can see how it's like a little V shape. That little V shape means that you're looking at a knit. You look at that little bump, it's a purl. You look at that little V, it's a knit. So since we have a purl as the first stitch in front of us, we're going to knit into it. Bring the yarn forward and we're going to purl into the knits. Bring the yarn back. We are knitting into the purls, making sure I'm not picking up the stitch from below. I usually don't have to cover it with my thumb. I have my hands half blocked by the um, camera, looking through the viewfinder, the depth perception for some reason bugs me, so I'm looking over the edge of the camera instead of the viewfinder. So we were just continuing, purling in the knits, knitting in the purls. It really is an easy stitch great for beginners, a good way to practice your purls and knitting and going back and forth. And um, let's identify these again real quick here. So you have that lump right there, that is a purl. And see that little V? That little V there is a knit, that little bump is a purl. And then see that little V right there above my thumbnail? That's a knit. So, since the first stitch we're looking at is purl, we go into it with a knit. Bring the yarn forward, since that little stitch there, let's see if we can see it, little V, we purl. Bring the yarn back, that's a purl stitch, so we knit. Bring the yarn forward, see that little knit stitch, so we're going in with a purl. So I'm going to finish this row 
yarn forward, purl, yarn back, knit, yarn forward, purl, yarn back, knit, yarn forward, purl, yarn back, knit, and I don't know if you could tell here, but I am always wrapping my yarn in the same direction. This gives you the same amount of yarn coming through as you knit and you purl. So it, it wrapping it in the same direction brings the same amount of yarn. If you wrap it from um, the opposite direction, um, your stitches will be kind of uneven. So there we go. Now I'll show you one more time. So here is seed stitch, and I did this particular project right-handed on a size 6 needle. Here is the photo again, just so you can look at it. It is 34 inches by 35 inches, and um, uh, it I really like it. It's a cute little, it's a cute little baby blanket. Trying to figure out what I'm doing with this one that I knit. I did it just for you guys. So, um, I hope that you enjoyed this, and please let me know if you prefer the patterns like this as a, a published document that you could just print up, or if I should start doing them on a blog. Thanks, guys.